So today I'm going to prepare an ox tongue. A lot of people think ox tongue is awful, but it is in fact a muscle. It may not be on everyone's top 10 ingredient list, but in this video I'm going to show you how I can transform this into a great tasting dish. First thing I do to kickstart this off is measure my brine. That's a good amount of salt and I also add some flavouring such as chilli flakes, some cloves and a couple of bay leaves. Now add some water and dissolve all of this together. I'll put measurements below in the description so you can follow along. Next step will be to bring this to a simmer on the hob. So I move my pan over and put this on a medium high heat. Whilst that's coming to a simmer, this is the ox tongue. Impressive, isn't it? I want to give this a good wash, so I take this to the sink and I will do that. Now, this is ready to be cured. So once that brine has come to a simmer, let it cool. This can be poured over the ox tongue in a food safe container. This needs to sit for at least 24 hours, one day per kilo basically. So I pop this in my fridge and let it sit there for a whole 24 hours. Next day I will come back to this and I want to give it a little rinse and then fill my pot full of water and then gently simmer this for three to five hours. Keep an eye on it through this time and once you're happy it's nice and tender and cooked all the way through, take it out and you can prepare for the next stage. This ox tongue has a coarse skin that has to be removed. Hopefully yours will peel off, but mine was a bit more stubborn, so I was in need for a sharp knife to take it off. It just takes a bit of time to do this, and once you're all cleaned up, this can be pressed in the fridge. It needs to be weighed down, so I put it in a tin, and then put a board or something on top, and put some heavy weights to weigh it down. Add some cooking liquor when you're doing this as well. Now pop this in the fridge for at least two days. <music> to serve, I've got some bread, mustard and pickles. Beautiful. Now the ox tongue is prepared, we can do the taste test. Now I'll let you into a little secret and that is I've never actually had ox tongue before, let alone a homemade ox tongue. So let me dive in and I'll be very honest with how it tastes. Wow, that was a pleasant surprise. I wasn't really know what to expect with this ox tongue. But that flavour is so, so nice. It's quite subtle, actually. Sometimes with roast beef, it can be quite strong, but this ox tongue is a really nice, subtle, beefy flavour. The texture isn't maybe the most tender, but it does have a lot of character and a lot of flavour. The combination with the bread and pickles and mustard is really, really nice. As always, thank you ever so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.